the meat cake. I think those words were uh, inaccurately ascribed to Queen Marie Antoinette of France at the time just before the revolution when she was confronted with the reality of the poverty of some of her subjects, eating cake when really all they need is bread. Food and being fed is a really important point of our Christmas celebrations. In fact, many of us focus on what we're going to eat and knowing that what we eat is doing us good is actually quite important. The church at Christmas time has an option to look more widely than just itself, look out into society. Just this year, I've been to a dog trial hut and managed to share communion with a group of farming people there in an environment that was very different from the splendor of many of our churches, big and small. And yet it was in there that we remember Jesus Christ, which is of course at the core of our being church, not just at Christmas, but all year round. What can we contribute to the needs of our community both at Christmas and through the wider year. Are there neighbours we need just to call round on us and share a time of companionability and community, particularly with those for whom perhaps COVID has meant they can't actually contact their family? How about those who genuinely all year round don't have enough? Are we contributing to their needs directly or more widely through the use of the cha many charities and food banks that exist? How are we worshipping God? Do we do that as we visit people? Of course we do. Are we inviting them to our carol services and our communion services where they can be fed on Jesus Christ, one who is the bread of life, in whom all our hungers are sustained? Happy Christmas.